Hi, I'm Jay Glashley, and I'm CEO of Ingenuity System. On behalf of all the people at Ingenuity, I want to thank the World Economic Forum for selecting Ingenuity as a 2012 technology pioneer. So what do we do that is so pioneering? In short, we deliver software solutions that help life science researchers and clinicians better understand biological systems and thus enable better and faster discovery and clinical decision making. It sounds very complicated, and of course it is, but let me try to simplify it a bit with a quick analogy. Imagine I gave you a million dollars to invest in the stock market and all you had was the NASDAQ pages from the New York Times. What you would have is perfect information about the stock and the stock price at 4 p.m. yesterday. Yet while the information is perfectly accurate, it's also completely uninformative, and it doesn't really help you make an informed decision as to where you should invest your money. What you need is greater context. What does a company do? What sector does it operate in? What are the products? Who are the competitors? And you also need dynamics, right? You need stock price as of yesterday, of course, but you also need what was its price a week ago and a month ago. Well, science isn't all that different. Over the past 20 years, we've made tremendous advances in our ability to measure and make empirical observations about biological systems. But for all the power of these technologies, they all do the same thing. They create a list, very similar to the list of stock symbols and stock prices. Let me give you a little more of a concrete example. The sequencing of the human genome was one of the great challenges of the last 20 years. It took us more than 10 years and a billion and a half dollars to sequence the first human genome. Today, we can sequence a human genome in a single day for less than $1,000. With such tremendous advances, comes, of course, tremendous promise of accelerating discovery and the opportunity to dramatically improve our ability to cure disease, improve the quality of life, and, of course, reduce healthcare spending. Yet, with these quantum changes in technology capabilities also comes bottlenecks in our ability to manage and make sense of all this data created. The sequence of a single human genome creates several terabytes of data, and when you analyze the roughly 3 billion base pairs in such a sequence, we find that we differ from each other in several million of these base pairs. Of course, in the vast majority of these cases, the differences don't cause any issues. But in rare cases, they do. And sometimes they cause us to be more susceptible to disease. So back to our analogy. When you sequence a whole human genome, you end up with a list of millions of differences, or web variants as we call them. But this list, while accurate, is not informative until we put it into the context of the full biological picture and start asking questions. In which genes do these changes occur? Are the changes likely to change the function of the protein or the gene? Have any of these changes been associated with disease before? Do any of these variants cause issues in other people? Enabling researchers to ask and answer these types of questions is exactly what Ingenuity does. We provide the biological context and understanding necessary to make sense of scientific and clinical experiments and tests. To enable our powerful solutions for in interpreting scientific experiments, we have over the past 10 years invested in reading a large portion of the world's scientific literature while collecting and structuring all the building blocks required to develop an accurate computational model of these biological systems. Using this content and computational model, we develop web-based solutions that enable researchers to interpret their scientific experiments and clinical tests. We made incredible strides over the last 20 years in our ability to understand biology and diagnose and cure disease, but we still have a long, long way to go. Everyone here at Ingenuity is grateful for the World Economic Forum recognizing our efforts, and we remain committed to make a difference in what surely is one of the most exciting and important challenges of the 21st century. Thank you.